It was the 10th of October 2009, a fine summer's day. I was only 10 years old at the time. We were dosing cattle and set weighing on the cattle. But then my father, he, he wished to get a kick off a cow or something and cut his sort of overalls. But then as when they got cut, there was sort of a tail hanging off. So then later that evening, then we finished up. It was still a fine summer's evening, so we said we'd go at something else. And then we pulled out the, the dye feeder, which is for feeding cattle, to fix it up for the winter that was coming ahead. We heard a banging on the inside the cab. So he got out to check what it was and he told me to stay inside the cab. But before he went back to get it, look into the back of the dye feeder, he noticed that the pipes ran wrong. Studying closer to stop around the pipes, and as soon as he did that, he had the tail of the filer suit was sticking out and he got caught, wrapped around the PTO shaft. He didn't have the guard on it. It just happened in the blink of an eye, sort of. I could sort of see his overalls, but I wasn't sure was it him going around the, the shaft or not. I thought it was in my memory, but then as soon as I seen him, I just hit the PTO shaft, a quick response. No, well, I never really used it before that because I was only a young lad at the time, like, but I knew that was an emergency stop. I ran out of the tractor as fast as I could and ran up to him to see was he all right. Yeah, I thought he was fairly bad because I could kind of see half, some of the leg was gone and I was lying on a bit, a bit of his foot. Well, he wasn't really roaring, he wasn't in pain or anything. He was just lying on the ground, you could see blood everywhere. There was no real time to panic or freak out or anything. I didn't really want to look on the ground or anything. I said if, uh, if I sort of blanked out everything, I'd be all right. I was like sort of lying on his leg and he gave me, he gave me his phone but it was bent like a banana telling me to ring 991, the doctor, but I knew well that wasn't the number so then I tried to ring 999 on his own phone but there was no service at all because it was bent. So I just ran into my granny Maureen's but she wasn't there at the time so I ran back out to him again and see what I do. He told me to bring down the tractor and get my mother. When I got down home I raced inside into the back door and see my mother, she was coming into the back door because she probably knew there was something wrong, I was banging on it. She rang the ambulance crew. There wasn't really much time on the side, so she said she'd go up and see what was wrong, see could she help him out or stop the bleeding. So I took the phone and I rang, get the ambulance directions. When I was going to the hospital, I wasn't sure what way my dad would be. I wasn't sure would he be dead or alive. We were waiting in the waiting room and I was the, the finest. The tall thought I had was feeling headaches and everything. But it was really quiet and all of a sudden I heard roars from him. I thought he was dead. And shortly after that, we went in to see him and there was sort of blood tissues everywhere thrown around the place. And I seen him with his oxygen mask on. I knew from that point in he was alright. Yeah, the shock didn't really hit me till I went to bed that night. But I couldn't sleep. I could sort of picture the blood and everything around. Legs, everything. So I we went watching a movie with my auntie. And after he lost the leg in the hospital, but he wasn't really too pushed about losing that. He said he was lucky to be alive. It's better to lose a leg than lose a life. A lot of people call me a hero, but I don't really regard myself as a hero. I think him showing, showing me knowledge and safety features around the farm as a young age, that I was able to react so quick, and that today and now I still have my father. There's a lot of farm dangers and safety precautions that you should take before you enter the farm. Yeah, I think at a really young age, and sort of national schools in particular, that you just should be taught about farm safety. I think everyone should slow down and take a look back and see all the safety features before they go mad rushing and panicking about everything. As my father always says, it's better to lose a minute in life than a life in a minute.